We're at Electronic Specialties today, and with me is Dan Sullivan, and he is the developer, the inventor, and owns the patent on the Load Pro Tester. And Dan, tell us a little bit about why it's important to use uh, load testing when we're diagnosing electrical circuits. I want an answer fast, and everybody wants fast because if we're dealing with large vehicles or we're dealing with small cars, if we're people are working on, on, uh, on flat rate, if people are working in, on, on an hour, it doesn't matter. We want to be done quickly. And the fewer number of tests that I can do and get the most information as possible with the least amount of effort and have the greatest possible outcome is what I want to do. So the tool that I developed, the Load Pro, is nothing more than a natural extension of a voltage drop test, which is ages old. Um, and in reality, what we're doing is we're using the vehicle's power system, the vehicle's voltage, which is either 16 or 64 times more powerful than the ohm meter in terms of horsepower, because 3 volts, 12 volts, and 24 volts, 12 and 24 win. And by loading the circuit with a standard voltage drop or with the tool that I developed, Load Pro, what we're doing in effect is ohming out the circuit all the way back from the load, both positive and negative wires, all the way back to the battery. So what we're doing in effect is testing the entire circuit with one test. And the way that I teach it is very simple. If you see voltage, you cannot have an open or short. If you don't have an open or short, you've ruled out two-thirds of every possible fault. There's only three, open, shorts, and high resistance, and the only thing that Load Pro does is find high resistance. So if I have system voltage, I push the button on the tool. When I push the button on the tool, I load the circuit, which is now testing the entire circuit. And if I do not have a drop in voltage or a loss in power, I don't have a wire problem. So now I don't have to get out schematics. I don't have to get out work stands. I don't have to get out ladders. I don't have to open connectors. I don't have to get out jumper wires. All I'm doing is going to the load that should either use, receive and use 12 or 24 volts. I'm checking for voltage. And I'm loading the circuit with the push of one button and giving you an answer about the wire first which fails 80% of the time. That really sounds simple. And you had mentioned a little bit about working on heavy equipment and that sort of thing, but it doesn't really matter what the equipment is, right? Could be cars and trucks that people work on every day in their shops. Uh, the circuit is the circuit, and the load processor works just everywhere, right? Well, it does. And, and I mean, the, the beautiful thing about it is it's insanely simple. It doesn't matter whether you're working on 1 volt or 1,000 volts. Voltage drop is voltage drop. And in our case, 12 or 24, typically what I'm used to, some cases 48, but for the most part, 12 and 24. It could be a vehicle, it could be a car, it could be a boat, it could be an airplane, it could be a truck, could, it, it doesn't really matter because all circuits are fundamentally the same. They have a power and a ground and a load and some switches. Well, there's one load per circuit. I'm testing that load because the Load Pro is a substitute load. So when I unplug it, no current flow, no voltage drop. Plug it in with the tool, push the button, current flow, voltage drop. That's all I'm doing. Really is simple, isn't it? So use uh, the Load Pro. Use, uh, uh, load up a circuit during your diagnostics, and you will come to a conclusion on your diagnostics if a circuit is good or bad a whole lot quicker. <laughs>